They appear as glowing blue spirits in Breath of the Wild. Link turns into one in A Link to the Past. The Running Man wants to become one in Ocarina of Time. What do each of these instances have in common? Well, they all have to do with rabbits, and they all point to a deeper connection that, to my knowledge, no other theorist has made. In this video, I will take you down the rabbit hole of rabbits, and give evidence to support my theory that rabbits in Zelda are actually demigods. Uh, okay, allow me to explain. Throughout the Zelda series, rabbits are occasionally seen, but somewhere along the line, the Hyrulean rabbit population fell into decline as they all but vanished. We know this because in Ocarina of Time, the Running Man tells Link, In old times, I heard there were many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore though, because of excessive hunting. This decline in rabbits resulted, therefore, in their taking on a mythical status. They became regarded as legendary creatures. Take this side quest in Breath of the Wild for example, the Legendary Rabbit Trial. It's a side quest given to Link by the Korok Peaks, who wishes to see a picture of a bloopy. Moreover, when we sell the bunny hood to the running man in Ocarina of Time, he says, oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend. So it's quite clear that these animals were important to those in Hyrule. But why were rabbits regarded so highly that their disappearance prompted this legendary status? Because they were already legendary to begin with. They were elevated to the status of demigods. As mentioned before, we sell the bunny hood to the running man in Ocarina of Time. In addition to confirming that the ears are genuine rabbit ears, he says something that was actually what prompted me to make this theory in the first place. He says, I bet with those long ears, you can hear the voices. The voices? Whose voices? A man in Castletown tells Link, they say we Hylians have big ears in order to hear the voices of the gods. But I've never heard them. Yes, in Hylian folklore, having big ears means being able to hear the voices of the gods. It's possible that at one time, Hylians could hear their voices, but not at this time. Why? Because an animal existed with even bigger ears than Hylians. Rabbits. Yes, I believe that rabbits in Zelda are messengers to the gods, giving them the status of demigod. It's no wonder then that the bunny hood is the most valuable and expensive mask in Ocarina of Time. Speaking of valuable and expensive in relation to rabbits, there's a character in Wind Waker named Maggie. She starts out as a dirt poor girl locked away inside the forsaken fortress where we later rescue her. When she returns to Windfall, she proceeds to sell all the skull necklaces she had amassed at the fortress and basically becomes a millionaire overnight. And what accessory does this millionaire choose to wear proudly on the top of her head for all to see? Bunny ears. Maggie, the richest and most royal person in Hyrule, wants to feel close to the gods in status and elevate her appearance to be like the demigods of old. Now, if all of this isn't enough to convince you of the divine status of rabbits in Zelda, maybe these real world ties will. As we know, Zelda is no stranger to the inclusion of Shinto beliefs. The creator and producer of Zelda himself, Shigeru Miyamoto, is Shinto. It should come as no surprise then that rabbits and Shinto play a specific role as messengers to the gods. There are many Shinto shrines in Japan that feature rabbit symbolism, such as Okazaki Shrine and Tsuki Shrine. The rabbits at both of these shrines do in fact stand as messengers to the kami or gods. That's one Shinto connection. If there was yet another connection between rabbits in Zelda and rabbits in Shinto, would you be even more swayed to accept this theory as plausible? Well, you're in luck. No, literally. 
Rabbits and Shinto also represent luck. Likewise, rabbits in Zelda represent luck. In Breath of the Wild, there's a shield called the Hunter's Shield that depicts two rabbits. The shield is unsurprisingly said to be favored by hunters for its rabbit design, which is said to bring luck on hunts. Undoubtedly, this proves that Shinto beliefs play a large role in how rabbits are depicted in Zelda. So this theory is possible and even plausible when it comes to rabbits being demigods when you take into account the creative influences behind the Zelda team. In A Link to the Past, there's an oddity that deserves more attention than it gets, and it's not Link's hot pink hair. No, it's the fact that Link becomes a rabbit in the Dark World. Why does Link become a rabbit? A character we meet called the Bully's Friend offers this explanation. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. In other words, Link's character traits dictated that he would be transformed into a rabbit by the power of the gods. This then begs the question, what character traits does Link have that allow him to take this rabbit form? Generally, in Japanese culture, rabbits have long been considered symbols of advancement, cleverness, and devotion to a cause. And if you think about it, Link is the literal embodiment of these three traits. Advancement because he is the chosen hero who seals away evil and ushers in the new era of Hyrule every single time. Cleverness because he's a master puzzle solver, and devotion because he is a well-disciplined knight who protects the princess at all costs. And remember that the bully's friend said that the golden power, or the Triforce, is what changed Link into a rabbit. I believe that the gods chose Link to be the hero in part because his traits were exactly like those of a rabbit. The very creatures whom the gods had put their trust in time and time again as their loyal messengers. Well, that's the theory. I'm so sorry about the delay on this video, and this will most likely be part one of a multi-part theory I'm thinking about doing, part two being more focused on bloopies and the mystery that surrounds them, as I think this theory offers a number of possible explanations. I have plenty more videos planned for 2023 and beyond, so please stay tuned. I thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more of my Hylians.